Okay, hey, welcome back guys. Uh, this is a thrill of a hunt. Um, it's, it's a different style than what I'm normally used to. Uh, we're going to look at a 1989 Chaparral with a 5.7 uh, Merc Cruiser in it. Um, I've always wanted to get into the whole Merc Cruiser engines and learn how to work on them and things like that. So what, that's what this episode is all about. We're going to look at this uh, 23 foot boat. And uh, I don't know, it might be a little too big for our family. I don't know, we're gonna get there and check it out. And uh, we're gonna see what happens, okay? site of course I have to ask permission if I can film this or not you guys mind if I film this for my channel huh okay yeah I appreciate it yeah I actually rebuilt uh, outboard engines and uh, I want to expand my knowledge into uh, Merc cruisers okay so, so he just said it needs a fuel filter but there he is hmm. Sean Sean. Are you recording now? Yeah. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. What's up, Sean? How are you? I'm filming. The wife gave the okay. Oh, I think it's the spark plugs because I can get it to start and go. Yeah. It won't stay running because I think it's the fuel filter might have clogged up the city. Can you bypass the fuel filter? Alright, a 23 foot battery charging, tires need air. Side and take a look. Okay. I just started messing with it, and then I seen that I, I'm, I don't have no fuel in here, which means it's the, I think the filter, which I didn't change that, probably is gummed up. Because it comes. That's the fuel. That's the fuel water separator. That's the filter. Yeah. So this doesn't. That's the filter. I can't get any fuel to this, so I'm wondering if it's just not coming yeah. through this, because this connects. Yeah, this is just a fuel water separator. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we could bypass it completely. Um, where's the fuel? That's the fuel tank right there. Very right here under, under us. Oh, very. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. Okay, so this goes to here. So if we connect this to here, we would bypass both of these items here. So that way, it rules these two out as a possible fault for it not starting. Well, if we know how to do that, I can take that. Yeah, no, it just looks like just. Clean. Uh, I just, yeah, I just need an adapter or a really tight clamp. All right, so that's that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna see if it fires over. Okay, so this is the, uh, the front of the bow. 
since they're about medium condition. I didn't want them to have to take all this top off as a pain in the butt to snap everything down. But I'm gonna get some storage here to the right. Yeah, just you know, random stuff. And over here, lots of storage space. As mentioned earlier, you could definitely fit a couple bodies in there if you had to, for sure, or kilos, whatever floats your boat. No pun intended. Okay. All right, well, we got to turn over. It definitely sound like a, a Chevy block. The water coming out the side there. something down in there which that's cracked to begin with hey it's a cat it's cracked to begin with but what is okay so we're just going to snip it off and see what happens okay so we verified that uh, both of the filter slash fuel water separator and the fuel pump work so it was a crack in the hose we adjusted that um, so now we're just going to feed gas and make it talk see what happens all right fire it up Really, that fuel filter it blew through both yeah. ways, so it ain't we're good. So we're clear. The fuel. Let me check the ventures. I don't see any fuel. Oh, well, this one I see fuel. This one I don't see fuel. Okay. Um, okay. Well, that's full. So just crank it over. There we go. All right. Whatever it is. We had to build up fuel. That's the first time that I've seen fuel running, so I bet yeah. you it's good now. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, it's really good, Sean. we to warm up here just a little bit. Okay, well, it looks like Sean and I made the deal. Uh, we're gonna tow this big, this big boat back home, which I guess we're gonna park it in the HOA for now. So I might get grief in the morning, I might come knocking on my door, but I'm gonna have to get storage to uh, put this boat in. Yeah. All right, so we have gutted, well gutted, I mean, just taking all the seats out, everything on the boat. Oh, except for the straps to get in there. A lot of stuff in there. Cleaned all this out, huge, a lot of storage in there. This looks like a little mini bar with a pool of bugs. Gonna vacuum that out. Yeah, I need to get this boat tilted, that way all the water actually runs out of it. I have it kind of on an incline, so. And to figure exactly how I'm going to get all this water out of here because it's just, it's just, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, it's just causing no good. But I want to vacuum it and then we're going to power wash all this stuff. The outside cleaned up very well though. Yeah, so the boat actually cleaned up pretty nicely. I just have to wait for everything to dry. Um, and then you get all the, the seats back in. You can see them there. Yeah, I got a little bit of seat work to do. Some of them are coming loose, but. Everything came out really good. I'm, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with everything. Everything looks. Came out a lot uh, 
cleaner than what I thought. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Probably not gonna do as much polishing as I thought. I'll probably just do the red, maybe the gray, and uh, yeah, call it a day. But yeah, this looks this looks great. It's promising. Okay, got the new solenoids installed on that. Battery is charging. Hydraulic hooked up to the ram. Put in a, a brass brass connector. Change the fuel line out to three eighths. Brand new. Change this to an inline filter so I can actually see the fuel coming out before it actually goes into the engine. Uh, see the oil has been changed. Uh, the fuel. Uh, this thing right here. The, the fuel filter slash water separator has been changed. And. Uh, Fuel filter's been changed. So, the uh, crap is hot out here. All right, so we're gonna make it talk. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see if it talks. successfully launched the boat that crazy boat ramp on the Maryland side yeah got a couple people out here beautiful day it's about 85 degrees yeah, got the boat all cleaned up cleaned up super nice yeah, yeah I'm definitely ready to take it for a spin Let's see what does uh, my first Merc Cruiser experience Obviously, I can't get to the dock to pick up my wife, but you know what? She's gonna turn out of the wake. All right, first Merc Cruiser experience. Uh, we're about out of the wake zone. Definitely a doozy trying to get into that dock in one piece. Uh, it has power steering. Uh, it definitely seems a little. Maybe it needs more fluid, which maybe I'll address that. I already put a whole port in there.
deck is like the perfect height for the water. Oh shit. Behind us, wave because I was filming. Oh. <laughs> 